So good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. We continue our consideration of Proverbs 22, and today we read from verse 11. He who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious, the king is his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the treacherous man. The sluggard says, there's a lion outside. I will be killed in the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. He who is cursed of the Lord will fall into it. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline will remove it far from him. He who oppresses the poor to make more for himself, or who gives to the rich will only come to poverty. So here's a few more words of wisdom with which to start a brand new day again. The one who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious will find that even the king is his friend. Everybody likes a person whose speech is gracious, who has purity in their heart. The eyes of the Lord see everything. They preserve knowledge. God overthrows the words of a treacherous man. As we know, God sees all things. He knows all things. He judges correctly and rightly in all things. Again, a warning against being lazy. The sluggard says, there's a lion outside, I'll be killed in the streets. You know, a lazy person that doesn't want to do something will always find an excuse, will always find a reason. Ah, oh, I can't do it because there's a lion outside, I can't go out because maybe it will attack me and kill me. They always find some reason not to do things. That sort of person will never be blessed. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. The one who is cursed of the Lord will fall into it. The one who is blessed of the Lord knows to trust in him and to listen to his inner voice, to listen to the Holy Spirit warning us, giving us discernment about people, not to fall into temptation, not to fall into the trap. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline will remove it far from him. A child needs discipline. A child needs to have boundaries set. Remember, we considered just recently, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he won't depart from it. And the one who oppresses the poor to make more for himself or who gives his money away to the rich will surely come to poverty. So there's some very straightforward lessons here again for us to consider, to take on board. And hopefully we're not only listening, but we are learning to live by these words of life, these words of truth. Let's now ask God's blessing over this day. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we so thank you and bless you as we begin a new day. We worship you. We lift our hands before you, Lord, and praise, worship, and surrender to you. All to you we surrender. All to you we freely give. We realize, Lord, that our life is nothing apart from you, but with you we can do wonderful things. As Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, Lord, we commit ourselves to you anew today, and we ask, Lord, that you would lead us and guide us and use us. Help us to be wise. Help us to be discerning. Help us to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit as he leads and prompts and guides us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your word, which shines a light on our path and shows us the way that we need to go. We ask a blessing over this day. We pray for someone that doesn't know you yet. We ask, Lord, that this will be the day they open their hearts to you. This will be the day they surrender all. Lord Jesus, we pray for the sick, the dying, all who are in need, those who are in despair, who are hurting. Lord, have mercy. Lay your hand upon them. We pray for our government and all in authority, that you would give them wisdom and help them, Lord, to make good and right decisions. Lead us out of this pandemic into life. Show us, Lord, your way. Show us, teach us, guide us, lead us. Lord, help us to live this day to the full, giving you glory and honour in everything that we say and do. Help us, Lord, to reflect your love, to be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be. So once again, we thank you, we bless you and praise you, and join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. 
So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing. I'll see you all again tomorrow.